Hey, it's Lisa. I'm at Joe's Live with Dolly. I don't even know who this guy is next to me. I don't care. I love this dog. Look at her. <laughs> this is her first official interview. Yeah, I know. She was trying to chew the mic. This is Dolly. Uh, somehow Jake went to a charity function and came home with a Last charity night. auction item. And it happens to be a live dog. Yes. Um, I My life is pretty spont spontaneous. Anyways. Does she know? Was she with you? Do you need help with her right no, now? She on, seems... I'm just going to put the there mic There we down. go. Oh. There we go. Um, yeah, so last night she was at a charity auction, which was for a great cause in Wichita for a place called Rainbows. And uh, when I saw her on the little charity bid thing on, on my phone, I said, I have to. I'm oh. in my daughter's birthday oh. this month, so uh, I'm going to take her home a little, a little female dog. We named her Dolly. So I had, now have Axel Slash, and Dolly, Dolly, and Merle. <laughs> And so, Merle. I got two country singers and two rock and rollers. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for everything you do. And your charity foundation. I mean, you got Jimmy Buffett to play at your event. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, we. It's really funny how much uh, that, that weekend was just a culmination of so many weeks and so much work from so many oh, people. It's, it's Putting on any sort of charity event like that is a big deal. And um, to have Jimmy Buffett come and help us uh, raise awareness for what we do. Our foundation is the Jake Owen Foundation, and our motto is we help people in the places they call home. So everything from St. Jude Children's Hospital to Autism Speaks to you name it. If somebody needs help, we're there to help them. And um, so that was a really big, big, big weekend for us. Uh, we had Chase Rice came, Jimmy Buffett, as I, as you mentioned. Jimmy uh, Buffett was there. Jimmy Buffett was there. Our buddy in was, his hometown. I mean, how cool is it that you know? Yeah, you're Jake Owen, and all of your hometown knows who you are. But you bring Jimmy well, Buffett back there. Well, so where I grew up in South Florida, Jimmy Buffett is like the like king, God. Yeah, there, right. I mean, that's he sings what we all live our life down there. Yeah. And so in my in my youth growing up playing guitar. I learned every Jimmy Buffett song known to man. So, and I did that because of of this band that played at Riverside Cafe called the Land Sharks. And I would learn all the Jimmy Buffett songs that I didn't know on Sundays from this band called the Land Sharks. Never in a million years knowing that one day I would come home for a charity event and bring Jimmy Buffett to Vero Beach, Florida. So the entire town was through, you know, over the moon. We raised, I, I, I think we raised over a million dollars. Wow. Um, and it was, it was an amazing success and uh, something we're really proud of. Okay, so when I first met Jake, he was playing in a conference room at a radio ago. station. <laughs> Literally, like, we're like, who is this guy? What do you mean he got hurt? He screwed up his golf career and he's going to be a country singer. And since then, I mean, number one's award-winning albums, a podcast, a foundation, amazing charity events, children. I made a movie this year, too. I know, and Crazy. your short film and, about and, your grandparents. Oh. And just to note that day, by the way, uh, Lisa, our friend Ray was there as well. And I'll never forget the first day I ever met the two of y'all in that studio. And, um, and and so I just want to make sure I say hey, Ray. hey to our buddy Ray out there. He's probably water skiing in this cold weather. <laughs> Actually, he was out following a big white buck, an albino buck last week. And I said, you cannot kill that, you can you? Shoot that. No, you, you can't, cannot. but it's the most amazing animal. I'll post a picture of it. Okay. So what's left? What haven't you done that you want to accomplish? And don't say, oh, I no, don't no, know, no. because it's, I know you know. It's funny you said that. We were having this conversation earlier on my bus about what, what in life makes me happy. And I love playing music. I love doing this for a living, but... I don't know what's left. I feel like we're always trying to find the next thing that we can do because I never started playing music for any reason other than the fact that I loved it. And uh, anything else that I do in my life is usually just because it's something that's passionate to me. And mm -hmm. right now I've been doing a little thing for my house called Live from the Tiki Tonk. And it's a little bar I have where I invite my friends to come in that are really talented. They're char I have characters kind of come in and do their thing. So we're going to do everything from singer-songwriters to uh, comedians to you name it. Maybe I've got lots of really cool friends that I feel like just sharing stories of real people is something that's special for those out there. So Well, that's what your podcast is about. Yeah, and I kind of transitioned the podcast from just being an aud audible, something you listen to, to being something you can really see and, 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 yeah. and grasp a hold of. But you're so damn pretty. Why would you want to cover that up? <laughs> I, I've, I've noticed that uh, that as I, as I get older, I, I tend to not want to see myself. Oh, please. Um, so 
Here's the amazing thing about that is there was a time that you would go on Twitter and you would invite people to come water ski. You'd be like, hey, whoever wants to, you know, jump on my boat today. And I think at some point, either your lawyers or your record company had to say, "Uh, dude, you need to cut that out because you can't just bring strangers on your boat. But now you're going to bring them into your house to your tiki bar? Yeah, I bring them. Well, we're going to do a thing where we have like 20 to 40 special guests that come and they come in the bar and they get to watch these shows that you cannot buy a ticket to. And uh, my first guest was my really good friend Scotty Emmerich who's one of the greatest singer. he's written so many Amazing. songs for Toby Keith it's unbelievable and uh, so he he kicked it off for us and, and since he's done it I've had multiple friends of mine say dude I want to come do that yeah so we have some cool stuff coming your way and uh, uh, good I hope that, an invitation is coming my way oh absolutely okay, You're always okay. Welcome. just making sure <laughs> You guys, Jake Owen, we are so thankful for him, not only for the art that he provides us and the music. We're thankful that Dolly he brought here. his dog. This and is Lance, Lance Houston. Lance, Lance is I'm dog afraid mom. Lance is going to steal my dog tonight. Yeah, I, I think so, I, I should have known when you said, why don't you bring Dolly to the interview? I was like, because you'll try to steal her from yeah. me. <laughs> um, but we're thankful, Jake, because tonight we're raising money for families of officers who have been killed in the line of duty. These are kids who's father or mother just went to work and didn't make it home and so oh we're taking a picture oh she's crying and so oh she's we were talking about the purpose of being here tonight sorry i didn't mean i didn't i didn't didn't mean to interrupt that with a photo but look uh look when there's a puppy in the room you know how this goes so um basically the 100 club of chicago has been around many years and they provide college scholarships for children of officers who are killed in the line of duty and um what they do is amazing and so what you're doing tonight is raising money for that foundation aside from everything you do for your own foundation and getting a dog at a charity event last night we just want to say we love you and we're thankful and i'm really thankful you brought dolly to the interview because you know this i love this well i'm happy to be here i have said this for years but my favorite place in the world to play music is Chicago. And I actually, let me read this to you. My best friend in my life. We're going to see a, a text a, message. A guy that's been with me forever, Greg Fowler, who's not here tonight. He sent me a text earlier and he said, I believe in the course of our 13 year history, we've played almost every venue in Chicago, including the Longhorn Steakhouse. He goes, <laughs> kick out those footlights again, son. <laughs> And uh, and we have we've played everywhere here here in Chicago and to be here tonight and helping out for the Hunter Club uh, is a big deal and I'm happy to be here I'm happy to help you guys and uh, thanks for everything you do for us. Stream his music, buy his music. More importantly, check out the short film about his grandparents' amazing love story. And check out my friend Larry Fleet, whose new record came out today. I just got to shamelessly throw that in there. He's an Absolutely. amazing artist, and you're going to remember right now, Lisa, that I told this you moment. about Larry Fleet right here. You guys remember that, Larry Fleet? Check it out. Jay Owen with Chicago's Big 95.5. Thank you. I had to get that in there. <laughs> I'm glad Have you, you 